Okay, so so far we have um, created basic shapes, we've looked at surfaces, we've looked at creating solids. So now what we're going to do is take a solid and transform it. For this I'm just going to work in the perspective view, so I'm going to double click on perspective. And I'm going to create a cube. So um, today we're going to look at a cube and we're going to twist it. Now here's my cube. If you hold down this tool you'll notice there's loads of other forms or 3D shapes. Um, I'm just going to select the cube here. I'm going to click on my screen. Now um, one thing Shift does as well as creating 3D, um, as well as creating 90 degree angles, it also creates perfect squares. So can you see the difference when I hold down shift? So I'm not holding down shift now, I'm holding it down now. Now I've got um, a square. So I'm happy, I'm just going to click, and I'm going to extend that shape upwards. And there I have a cube. Now to twist it, I want to create um, a spine, a central spine, and this will give me a really nice twist. Can you remember from um, previous classes that to find the center of a square, you can draw a line from one corner to the other? So I'm going to do that now. So here's one corner, I'm going to click the other, and then right click to cancel. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And because I have my midpoint, snap tool on, it means that my line will find the middle of that line. And there I've got a central spine. Now just one thing about snap tools, um, sometimes it can get confusing if there are too many on, so make sure you click them off as you don't need them. At the moment all I really need is the end and the midpoint. Now I've done that, I can create um, my transformation. So if you go to the top, you can see the word transform in the top toolbar. And I'm going down to twist. Now um, there are some other interesting ways you can transform such as stretch, taper, bend, but today I'm just going to demonstrate twist. So here it asks me to select the objects to twist, so I want to twist the cube. Can you see it goes yellow which means it's selected and I'm going to press done and then it's going to ask me to start the axis or find the axis for it. So I was talking about the spine, what I'm going to do is select the top and then select the bottom, that's the start and the end. And then I'm just going to click somewhere outwards of the shape as my first reference point. Now from here you can twist, so if you keep rotating round and round it's going to get tighter. So you can decide how much you want to twist it, maybe a lot, maybe a little. Just going to click when I'm happy, there. And just to add a bit more detail or make it a bit clearer for me, I'm going to select the shaded or rendered tool. And there I have twisted my cube.